It's time for Fresh Wars. Hi everyone, it's time for another Fresh Word and today I'm thinking about languages. Right now, I'm speaking English, but there is so much language diversity all around the world. I know my mom, she can speak Spanish and my dad can speak German. Do you know any other languages? I speak English, Tagalog, and Spanish, but mostly English. My name is Hudson. It's Lago Espanol. Yeah, no. Elliot. Hi, my name is 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 Elliot. Hi, my that is Chinese for hello, my name is Jennifer, and I also have a Chinese name that's a Yu Chi. Yu Chi. Tagalog. It's special to me because it's my family's language. I learned it when I was a, a toddler from my mom. Um, I started learning this language in fourth grade. And I'm still learning it now. I feel that this uh, language is special to me so then I can easily connect with my Chinese ancestors. And it's a cold language to learn. But also, here's something I haven't said yet. I also speak a little bit of Russian, German, Polish, Finnish, Japanese, and French. People around the world and in different cultures communicate in many different languages. Why do you think that is? So then they can have top secret languages? So then we can understand each other and because everybody was born differently and they probably just came up with new ways to talk. Because they don't want to tell of other people what they want to say to another person. We use different languages probably because of culture, religion, and to know which and places we were from. Can you imagine what it would be like if everyone in the world spoke the same language? What would be better is everybody can communicate and everybody wouldn't get upset with each other. Say you're on vacation in Russia. What if everybody only speaks Russian and then you just speak English. You wouldn't understand a thing. But what might be lost is culture since language might mean something. Your culture and my your culture could be lost. Today in Sunday School, we'll be talking about the Tower of Babel, which is a Bible story about where people all spoke the same language. Do you know the story of Babel? They wanted to build a house and they could be more close to God. But you're always close to God. I mean about this. He gets to God. God got super mad. So he broke it. And suddenly they couldn't talk. Each other. Diversity of languages is something to be celebrated. Languages reflect rich cultures and histories and they bring people together. While nobody understands every language and dialect, we don't need to understand everyone's words to know that every person has the right to be treated with respect and the right to communicate in the language that makes them feel most comfortable. So with that, keep it fresh. Maybe you'll get to build a tower in Sunday school today. And I'll be singing with you later. Bye, everyone. Well, keep it fresh, alright? I'll see you in Sunday school. Bye, Jen. That's Phoenix. Bye.